This is Shepard, and today we're going to talk about something you might not like. Landlords, tenants, and pets. I do not think it's a good idea for a tenant to own a pet. Now, there are some exceptions here, and I have some good reasons behind this, so bear with me for a minute. I have owned a number of places that I've managed and I've managed some rentals for other people and we do not allow pets in our rentals. We used to and had some bad experiences and it's just you know, as a landlord you can't find remedy in court so when the cat pees on the carpet in multiple rooms and ruins thousands and thousands of dollars in carpet and you're not able to get your deposit back and you end up losing thousands for the replacement you sue the person, the court says, well, they're just a poor tenant. Plus, even if the court did say they won, they're never going to pay you. It's just not worth ever renting to somebody that has a dog or a cat. So, having made that decision, we only offer our places to people who do not have animals or that aren't going to have animals there. And most landlords are the same. I mean, that's kind of the most popular, you know, you look at look at the classified ads and many most say no pets I still get phone calls I don't understand why but I still get contacted by people that say well I have a dog but he's a really good dog may I please move in and keep my dog there or he's old or he's young or what no we don't accept pets in our, in our place so I, I get these calls and then I wonder I look at some of the people I talk to them and they're nice good people but they have chosen a lifestyle uh, or they're at a point in their life that they have a lifestyle that they will likely be renting for upcoming years for at least another five or ten years of their life if that's the case they should not own a dog that's my argument here it is harder to get a place it's going to cost you money if you don't own a place and you ever own want to own your own home or condo or whatever you should probably be saving money at this point, right? You shouldn't be spending it on vet bills and dog food and all the other stuff. I get how cute and cuddly puppies are, and I like dogs. I like cats. I have an awesome dog, Remington. Love him. It's a luxury that for the first years of my life, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I couldn't. I mean, it was ridiculous for me to think of having a dog when I was renting. Um, that's no you don't it just doesn't make good sense so I, I don't know it's just kind of my thoughts on it I know it's a tough thing and I know you look at that dog or it was abused or it's so cute at the pound or your friend wants you to or whatever but it is gonna limit your opportunities so much in upcoming years just don't do it don't have a pet until you own your own place now I did mention there'd be an exception the exception is if you have a wonderful permanent situation. Your uncle has an extra property in Montana that he only comes up to once every three years and there's a nice big fun uh, manager's house on that same property and he tells you yeah go ahead and use it and you work there you have your plan for the next 10 or 20 years to be there. Well yeah that's different. Go for it. But I'm talking about the person who lives in the city or, or towns or uh, doesn't have a permanent life going on, don't have a pet. Just don't.